Once there was only a desert where there was no water, and people lived a simple life having only the basic necessities. While trying to get water, they accidentally found gold. But it was not solid, but liquid gold. Oil. This proved to be a turning point for the nomadic Arabs. They started the oil business and got rich. And when you have money, you have to spend it. And how they spend it is insanely interesting. Here are some of the eclectic habits of the super-rich Arabs. If you manage money and not money manages you, then subscribe to the channel and express your opinion in the comments. Bustard Hunting Bustards are one of the most beautiful birds on the planet, but for rich Arabs, hunting them is a hobby. In winter, bustards fly away from Central Asia to Pakistan. During this time, the Arabs travel to Pakistan in their private jets only to hunt them. Most from Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Qatar and Bahrain. Big Arab Wedding 100 to 150 guests are invited to an Arab wedding, and Arab billionaires seem to be aiming to create heaven on earth when they celebrate their weddings. The wedding celebration lasts a week, they spend millions like crazy on stage decorations and food. In fact, one wedding of the daughter of an Arab billionaire is worth as much as hundreds of regular weddings. Toilet made of pure gold Arab billionaires are not at all worried that gold prices are skyrocketing, gold bars and the safe are no longer in vogue. They can furnish their bathroom with pure gold. The monarch of Saudi Arabia gave his daughter a golden toilet for her wedding. In expensive hotels, where rich Arabs like to stay, all the toilets have golden seats. Exotic Pets a rich Arab sheikh does not need any ordinary kittens or puppies at home. Give them a cheetah, tiger or a lion. And most shockingly, they carry their wild pets in their expensive cars. Rich Arabs share their selfies with their wild pets on Instagram because for them it is a great pride. The rarest types of cars Want to see the most expensive cars in the world? Just visit Dubai and you will see golden cars there and cars made of white gold and with stone spikes. Little nothings of life Gold iPhones, Ferraris, Gold Rolexes. These are all the little things that you can pamper your teenage child with. Some can even safely present their child with a private jet and their holidays in exotic places. This is how rich Arab kids live in cities like Dubai. Arabic shopping And in shopping, Arab billionaires have no equal. They prefer to do shopping in Manchester. About 60,000 people from Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar and Iraq visit Manchester every year. And it is estimated that they each spend at least 10,000 pounds during their stay. Can you guess why they are crazy about Manchester? Exactly, because all the expensive boutiques are located within walking distance from the hotels. They always reserve an empty room in the hotel where they can store all their purchases. Gold ATMs for gold people some ADMs in Dubai are made of gold. And such an ADM can even give you a bar of gold if you use your bank card with a decent account. In fact, such ADMs are available in many places in Dubai. An artificial ski park in the middle of the desert. Arab billionaires can create anything artificially and are extremely proud of it. Artificial gardens in the desert no longer surprise anyone. They built an indoor ski park in Dubai. So nothing prevents them from skiing, even if it's unbearably hot outside. They hire celebrities all the time. 
Any billionaire can easily take a selfie with any celebrity in the world by inviting them to their private party. Saudi Prince Fahd Al Saud hosted his prom at Disneyland Paris. 14-year-old Arab boy Rashad Saif Belhassa took a selfie with Paris Hilton, Jackie Chan, Nicki Minaj, Messi, and so on. Crazy Architecture There is nothing to say about architecture. Arab cities continue to amaze us with their incomparable architecture. The hotels there reach the sky. Through their architecture they tell the world how rich and technologically advanced they are. I don't know if an underwater multi-room hotel has already appeared in Dubai or not. Palm Island in Dubai needs no introduction. The magnificent man-made island is visible even from space. Dubai's Burj Al Arab is the only 7-star hotel and also the tallest hotel in the world. The Saudi authorities have announced the construction of a huge CO2-neutral city which will have neither roads nor cars. Under the project presented by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the 170km linear city called The Line will be home to a million people and create 380,000 jobs. The line will be built within the smart city of Niyam in Tabuk in the far northwest of Saudi Arabia. The area of Niyam itself, which will stretch for 460 kilometers along the coast of the Red Sea, will be 26,500 square kilometers. They want to make the city climate neutral and it will receive all energy from renewable sources. The line will be located on three levels. On the surface, there will be residential buildings and all the infrastructure necessary for life. Schools, clinics, parks and entertainment. Official cars will run on the first underground level. And ultra-speed vehicles controlled by artificial intelligence will run on the second. It is noted that a trip from anywhere in the city to another will take no more than 20 minutes. The prince noted that the reason for the construction of million-plus pedestrian city is concerned not only for the environment but also for people. He said that by 2050, a billion people around the world will have to find new homes in less polluted areas. The prince also recalled mortality due to environmental degradation and noted that in the modern world, people have to stand in traffic jams for an unacceptable amount of time. According to preliminary estimates, the construction of a green city will require investments of up to 500 billion dollars. And you said all the furniture comes with the house, do the cars? Unfortunately not. These cars are around $20 million, half the price of the home. Yeah. And they do not come with the house, unfortunately. Most of the funds will come from the Saudi Arabian Sovereign Wealth Fund, as well as from private investors who have invested in the NEOM project. By the way, even Russia will invest in this project, although it is not clear why they themselves, having so much oil, cannot build something like this. Another interesting fact, the prince also promised that the state would practice a more tolerant form of Islam and become open to religions and traditions from all over the world. Neom should be very different not only from the current Saudi Arabia, but also from any other cities. It is expected that there will be more robots in it than people. And they will be used in various industries, from healthcare to security. Cars are likely to drive an autopilot and only solar and wind energy should provide electricity to the city. Prince Mohammed acknowledged that the project would not be easy to implement. Dreaming is easy, but making dreams come true is difficult. Neom will also have its own laws that are more friendly to businesses and foreign residents. The project highlights Prince Mohammed's desire to liberalize not only the economy, but also society in Saudi Arabia. The country already demonstrated this by lifting the ban on women's driving. We want to live a normal life that reflects our religious tolerance, our good customs and traditions, in order to coexist with the world and contribute both to its development and to the development of our country. The prince said. 
And this is uh, also my grandfather. And that's my, my grandfather.